A leak in a fuel oil return line. That is what the Coast Guard now says was behind the breakdown of the Carnival Triumph cruise ship, which left thousands marooned for days at sea, forcing them to live in deplorable conditions. Now, that, of course, is an extreme situation caused by a mechanical fire. But what if you simply didn't like the cruising experience and wanted to get off the ship? Jennifer Lukey has the real deal tonight on just how much it'll cost you to walk away. Leona Chadwick had never been on a cruise. I was very excited. We packed a month ahead. But a few hours after the ship left the port in New York City, that excitement waned. Oh, I hung onto that bed. I mean, I thought I was going to tip over. It was bad. This is the only picture Leona has, her and her granddaughter on the first night of the trip. After that, she was so seasick she couldn't leave the cabin. In between bad moments, I was th just throwing stuff in the suitcase. I didn't care what it looked like or anything, you know, I just wanted to get off. Her daughter was also sick and had been to the ship doctor twice. So when the Carnival Miracle docked in Port Canaveral, the two of them were getting off. When they went to check out... And she said, you know, it's going to cost you $300 each to get off. They weren't asking for their money back. They weren't even asking for a ride to the car rental place. They just wanted to get off an already docked ship for good. But the $300, I think, was a nasty jab to... I was upset to begin with because I was getting off, and then she throws that at us. It was like a, a double whammy. Carnival blamed the fee on the federal government, telling the ladies and telling us that the fee is required under the Jones Act. So just what is this Jones Act all about? Well, it was passed in 1920 to regulate the American shipbuilding industry. The Jones Act forbids foreign ships to transport cargo or passengers between two U.S. ports without first stopping at a foreign port. Since most cruise ships are registered to ports outside the U.S., they're technically considered foreign. So basically, a very antiquated federal law meant to protect cargo and seamen decades ago now prevents seasick passengers from finding another way home. And it's not just Carnival. We called all of the other cruise lines, and they are all required to charge the fine. It was not a pleasant experience. Neither on the ship or getting off. That's The Real Deal. I'm Jennifer Lukey.